the best way to actually make money from Bitcoin is, I don't know how much you're going to do it, but this is what I would suggest yeah. if you want to go into it with uh -huh. your 6 million, for uh -huh. instance. Uh -huh. 6 million should be around, let me say, $6,000 dollars worth of Bitcoin. Yes. And you put it, put it into Bitcoin. Maybe use one of the apps mm -hmm. and you buy your Bitcoin and mm -hmm. you store it. Mm -hmm. The general price goes up. Okay. And general price comes down as well. Okay. Once that general price goes down, your six thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin is affected. Okay. If it goes up as well, your six thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin is also affected. Right. It's either affected positively or negatively. Right. So if it's affected negatively, you're making losses. Okay. If it's affected positively, you're making profit. All right. In a world where, you know, um, cryptocurrencies and Bitcoins and all the coins that you can imagine have now become, you know, somewhat like the best way or like the cutest way to keep money or to transact. I just thought that, you know what, I, I, I think I'm at that point in my life where I really need to understand what cryptocurrency is all about. Fun fact, I was on the set and most of my <clears throat> co-actors were literally on their laptops half the time and i'm like what are you guys doing what are you guys checking on your laptops and, and you get things like oh i'm trading and there's no type of coin i don't know yeah even the ones that i'm just like who named these coins but okay that's not even good conversation for today right um it's just about it's just the frenzy around trading and trading online i mean it looks cool it sounds cool but when they now showed me the graph <laughs> it looked like it looked like french i mean i think i know a little french what language am I confused the most about? Spanish. It looked like Spanish to me. It was like, I don't understand. And then, you know, it's, it's when you hear them talk in the trading lingo, oh, I, I should have, I, I can't even remember those things because they were just sounding funny to me. But it was cool to see them interact and know what they were doing. And it seemed like, you know, they were making some cool cash out of it. So it just made sense that I got someone on the show who really understands this thing and trades it and makes money off it and is a big boy of it and maybe myself I will understand it because honestly speaking I don't I've tried it's difficult so uh, with me uh, in, on the show today on the couch is a crypto analyst he is a crypto head and he is someone who actively plays in that space. I think he also owns like his own trading company. We'll get to that as the show progresses. I have with me Ibuka. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank great you. Great to have you. Thank you for coming. Pleasure is all mine. You are wearing your face cap. Ace trade is your trades. What? Ace Tech Trades. Ace Tech Trades. Why? First of all, why is that all this trading company? The name used to be confusing. Yeah. It's always complicated. If it's not XX trades, X to X is crazy. It's always X. It's not really complicated. You know, the usual company will start with, uh, for instance, Ace to Exchange. Let me say, so, so, so Exchange. Uh, exchange, XX, Exchange. We're doing something different. We're not doing the Exchange. We're doing the X trades instead. So it's entirely new. What's your full name? It will call you back Godwin. And why didn't you call it Godwin Trades? Nah. <laughs> Was it be X to Exchange Trade? Why? Well, it's... um. The whole XX trade name uh, came up from, I think, from secondary school back then. I, I was usually called Ace, and the meaning of Ace to me was actually successful. Being yeah. were you always taking first in class? Nah. <laughs> so what do you Ace? Do? When you Ace, you Ace. Yeah, Ace means like you're an Ace student, or like. Oh, you don't actually need to take first in class to be successful, you know. I'm not. I do not say that too. Should be at one. Yeah, no. Now you are doing a uh, crypto <laughs> cryptocurrency. You didn't use books. That's a lie. But you need to be intelligent. Yeah, Charles, yeah. stop it. Okay, let's let's start from the very beginning. I like that you went back to you know school and school days. Did what did you study in uni? Oh, well, funny enough, uh -huh. I recently graduated from the Department of Mass Communication. Mass communication. Honestly. That is... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I should have been laughing. <laughs> Mass com. So, TV, journalism. Yeah. Is it? Mm -hmm. Recently graduated. Recently. When did you graduate? Last year. What school? September. What from school? Delta State University. Oh, Delta State. Yeah. Ah, that's school, Sha. Let's not talk about the school. Let's talk about you. <laughs> so, why did you... Hold on. Why are you one of those guys who just is and this school team I just shall go to school? Me no bless I know. No, 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 no. I've always loved to go to school. I've always loved Mascom. Really? Funny enough, I applied for Mascom for three years. Even when they decided yeah. to change the course, well, yeah, Mascom or nothing. 
Why did you want to do mass com? Well, I've always wanted to do the media thing, but business, crypto, you know. Sunny boy. <laughs> As usual. <laughs> so what part of media did you want to go into? I represent, yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. That's cool. That's interesting. But well, look at you now. Uh-huh. You are now a crypto. So when did crypto come, you know, come around? Why, well, why crypto? Why did you decide to do it? I think that was two years ago. Two years. Just yes. two years ago. Just two years ago. So it was two years ago. Wait, wait, first. Don't, don't be angry. <laughs> ah, Ibo boy, Sha. <laughs> wait, was it two years ago that you decided to own your own thing? Or did you start, or you said you um, learned it two years ago or what? It started off like a joke, actually. Uh-huh. It was like, Afa, bro, get yourself involved in this business. Someone so that, was telling you. Yeah, get yourself involved in this business. But what we normally do is we we'll change these cryptos to Naira for them. Okay. Change probably their gift card assets. Right. So over time, ah, I'm doing the business as a normal vendor. Why not go into it and study it and become like your own brand? And this happened that same two years ago, just like after a few months into the business. So you know, even but you didn't bother the boy when you know. Uh, How long were you working for someone for? Yeah, uh, four months. <laughs> four months four and then months, you yeah. opened, started your own thing four months interesting so now um ace trades yeah. what do you guys specialize in exactly yeah we specialize in mostly exchanging cryptos like um, your bitcoin right. your ethereum your usdt your dogecoin to naira for you with your and bitcoin ethereum usdt dogecoin, dogecoin. So Doge. special, yeah dogecoin yeah so which is the best coin it would definitely be USDT for me. What's that? What's USDT? USDT is the actual dollar coin. Okay, dollar. It doesn't change like the Bitcoin. The Bitcoin goes up and comes down, but USDT is a very, very stable coin. Okay, we'll come to that. So now you, you, guys, <laughs> just, you guys just exchange the coins. Yeah, we exchange these coins to now nah, for them. For them, they understand that, okay, it's changing the coins mm-hmm. to now nah, for them. And the gift card, like the Apple gift card and so on and so forth, like the regular gift cards. So we exchange them to Naira for them and give them their Naira and they're happy. So How do you make money from exchanging? Well, it's very, very broad actually. For the crypto part, we make money from buying these coins, probably at the current market rates mm-hmm. and selling them off later. It's just like you buying a product when um, it's, cheap. it's cheap and you're selling it when it's expensive. So you buy these cryptos at, let me say, for instance, maybe the dollar price and the Bitcoin price in dollar is, let me say, $30,000. Mm-hmm. And you're selling them off when it's $35,000. So the profit is quite huge. I'm confused. So the market price is saying $30,000. Yeah, for instance. For instance. Yeah. And you buy. Then you sell off when the market is saying $35,000. So what's your profit margin? Profit mar- margin depends on how much you have as your capital, actually. Oh, uh, let me say... If you're able to accumulate, for instance, um, Bitcoin worth $10,000, mm. if you are selling off when the general price of Bitcoin is around $35,000, you won't be selling off on, on that 10000 So your coin might have raised from 10000 to probably 13000 So yes. coin with the exchange rates, yes. you will do the math. 10000 times, maybe 1500 now. Right. Then okay, 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 okay. the profits you're doing thirteen thousand times the coin one thousand mm, five hundred. You're right. making about like three to four million now. Uh, right. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Okay, but Mr. Farmer, I'm a good boy, so I'm trying to calculate the money. So, so, so um, you you started two years ago, so it simply means you've been two years. Yeah. Your two years. Your business is two years old now. Yeah, two years. And how's that been? How's business been? Very tough. As usual, there's no business that you know encounter challenges we've lost money actually massive money we've almost closed and then we've experienced huge profit time and it's it's the usual thing for business mm. so it's been tough challenges here and there we've, we've had issues of scams from our fellow individuals so, they try to sell you things yeah, that don't exist so that is ah. but it's part of the business you do money That's the every issue day. with all these virtual, virtual things. You do money every day. That's interesting. So, why two years mm-hmm. is a long time, in my opinion, to be honest. But, but let's talk, forget about that now. So, if you were to sell, 
okay, first of all, why do you think is important? Because I mean, for you to even be in the business and you said you studied mass communication and then you said doing it, that means you saw something that was good there and decided to push it, you know, go through, through with it. So why do you think is important for me? Because I don't do any of these things, for example. So yeah. say, for example, you're trying to sell the idea of, you know, maybe buying a coin, whatever coin it is, or just going into cryptocurrency generally, right? Because like I said, I have friends who do this thing. A lot of my friends, even, you know, you know what busts my brain? Mm. And, and I know I shouldn't be sexist. I shouldn't be, it's not a gender-based business. Yes. But even ladies, yeah, ladies the, the softest of ladies that I know, I'm saying the ones that you think can never even add or subtract or if you see them doing this thing, I'm just like, I just started doing with your life. If this person is on her laptop <laughs> plotting this graph, what are you doing, right? So why do you think it's important for me to me, for example. Uh, so, first of all, yeah. in my normal sense, what I'll tell you is that I will not even advise you to go into the business. Ah. Because, ah. Not the business, so I don't want because, to be your, your like, yeah. you own a company or anything. Yeah. But, but like, just buy. But it's trade, important maybe. to, to have these assets because the world is gradually growing right. and we are moving from the normal fiat currencies to digital cash and all that. So, so you're using big, big English. Fiat <laughs> currency means like normal dollars and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we are going to a point where we might have to deal with mostly digital. So the world is evolving to that point. Mm. So it's best, just like um, all Facebook is doing, the meta and all that, we are evolving. Mm. So for currency sake, we are evolving to a new level where this your cryptocurrencies will become serious assets. And by the time of NFT, when NFT came out, everybody, yeah, yeah, yeah it was a very, very. I still don't understand this. Yeah. I I don't understand it. Understand. I never went into it because ah, it was as if I knew that the thing was going to crash at some point. But that's it that has crashed. Really, ah, at some yes, oh, that wow. was around last year. We had issues with NFTs. Wow. But the thing is. Yeah, the world is evolving, so mm. you should evolve with it. At some point, you might even go out and you want to get something and you're paying with Bitcoin. Who knows? Who oh, wait? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> who where did this Bitcoin thing come from? Like who I I just like to know the genesis of things. Maybe maybe when I do my research personally, I might find out. But thank God you're here, so you answered my question. Sorry, good for you. So um where did where did Bitcoin originate from? Like who you know how like for example, yeah. Naira is to Nigeria, dollar is to the US, pounds is to the UK, um, yen, so we know these things, right? Mm. So the coin now, where did it, how, I know it's a virtual, it's a virtual currency. Yes, a virtual currency. Where did it, how, what's the origin? Well, the origin is very, very long. Like, if we, ask, if we start to discuss Bitcoin, I'm sure that, <laughs> we might no, not sure you that's why you are here, so, you are discussing Bitcoin. For Bitcoin uh, is actually not originating from any country, like, it's a country, right. country currency. Okay. It's just like, let's say me and you come together and um, we say that, okay, we don't want to be using our regular currency. Mm -hmm. We want to come up with a particular currency. Mm -hmm. Let me say, and name it maybe a uh, Astex coin, mm -hmm. <laughs> for instance. We name it Astex coin. Then we promote it and we are doing the normal. But Bitcoin, it's the technology is involved in Bitcoin. It has to mine. It has, has blockchain mine. network. That's a mine. Yes, it has to mine. It has blockchain networks. Every transaction is very, very transparent. Unlike sometimes the bank, we have certain persons that have access to these transactions. But like Bitcoin, it is universal. Everybody sees it. So as long as you have access mm. to this blockchain, so mm. everybody sees the coin. So where it originated from, I think that was um, 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 from one Chinese guy. Mm. We recently discovered that the person that we thought was the founder of Bitcoin was not the founder of Bitcoin, it's claiming that he has no business with it. So who bought the Bitcoin out? We still don't know. But it's a coin that I'm actually enjoying, actually. But the most thing is, everybody everybody wants to fight Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. They feel that after some time, it might just become a universal currency where everybody will not generally accept. Of course, everybody is generally accepting bitcoin so it's not belonging to any particular country it belongs to almost everybody mm -hmm. you understand so like i like for someone like me who doesn't understand it and i'm talking now for you and as a business owner yeah you own astex right and okay but then your company just deals with the exchange of yeah, bitcoins, the exchange right? so i need to even have it to come to you yeah you need to have it 
Right. Are they companies that you go and get from? Uh, like, say I want to buy now. You want to buy? We also sell. Okay, you also sell. Yeah. We also sell. We don't just buy from customers. So if I'm buying, I'm buying in Naira or dollars? Yeah, I'm buying now. Nah. I'm not buying So is there, is there Bitcoin for 5,000? Yeah, of course. There's Bitcoin for 10,000. There is Bitcoin for 10,000. As long as maybe, if you enter your wallet, you might not see it, sure. How won't I see it? Since I buy it, you might not see it now. What do you mean by the might not see? Because ten thousand in Bitcoin yeah. shouldn't be more than, um, let's say in dollar shouldn't be up to seven dollars. Okay, so what's the so if I want to buy from you, yes, and I, I what would you how how much Bitcoin would you just get? And that depends. The rate changes every morning. Okay. So you understand. The rate changes every morning. So would the rate for buying also right. change? So it's just like the normal forex market. Mm. So the rate changes for buying and selling. So we do sell at higher rates compared to buying. So if I'm buying from you 1,500, I won't be selling to you 1,500. Mm. In some cases, we sell at that same price just to make customers happy because our first priority is just to give people service. But while you are giving people service, you are also benefiting from it. Mm-hmm. So you understand? So 1,500 per naira, per dollar, yes. Okay, per dollar now. Yes. So how much Bitcoin is that? Um, That's one. That's, that's almost 0.00000020. 0. 0. 0. 0. And so what I'm asking for it starts now. Mm-hmm. I said I want to buy Bitcoin. I want Bitcoin that we show. You said it's not show. Yeah, that one will not show now. So the one that we show now, yeah, how much should, own should I buy? You should consider like five thousand dollars worth what or of Bitcoin. Two thousand or one thousand dollars is five million. But that is it, yes, because and that's the thing. You can't make enough profit from unit so, coins. Okay, okay. That's it. You can't make enough profit. You probably should be moving from let me say from one dollar back to zero dollar, from one dollar to two dollars. So that means the both. business is for Bitcoin and all these fancy fancy coins, Ethereum and all those, is there anything like that? Yeah. Uh, are, are basically not for people who are living within minimum wage. No. That, that's why I said. I can't really advise somebody to just take your money and buy Bitcoin that you want to store it and make profits off Bitcoin. Really? Or anything. Because, how would I say it? You know this Mary Beth or Beth Niger thing? Mm. Your money will go for vanishing. <laughs> God, I mean. so that's the thing your money will go for vanishing but if you're buying bitcoin you're buying bitcoin with the mind of it just i want to buy it and just remove my eyes no oh, but wait now wait i'm <laughs> sorry excuse me sir i'm a businessman i work hard for the money i have, have maybe i have like six seven million that i can afford to use and buy bitcoin, what, whatever yeah. no not bitcoin maybe whatever uh-huh. it's just there right and i say and i say okay you know what this bitcoin says let me use it and buy right. it and I and I I think that it's okay for me to think that as I'm putting my money into this thing, mm-hmm. as an evil boy that you know that I am at you, ah, it will rip, yeah. right? It will rip. Uh, but rip. now you are saying that I should put I should not put my mind that I'm going to make money. I should just put that. Oh, I'm just buy buy it for what? Is it decoration? And uh, the best way to actually make money from Bitcoin is. I don't know how much you're going to do it, but this is what I would suggest yeah. if you want to go into it with uh-huh. your six million, for uh-huh. instance. Uh-huh. Six million should be around, let me say, six thousand dollars yes. worth of Bitcoin, yes. and you put it put it into Bitcoin. Maybe use one of the apps, and you buy your Bitcoin and you store it. Mm-hmm. The general price goes up, okay. and general price comes down as well. Okay. Once that general price goes down, your six thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin is affected. Okay. If it goes up as well your $6,000 worth of Bitcoin is also affected. Right. So it's, all, it's either affected positively or negatively. Yes. So if it's affected negatively, you're making losses. Okay. If it's affected positively, you're making profit. Yes. So if, for instance, the price goes up from 40 k to 45 k you should be having $6,300 in your wallet. That's profit. That's a profit. So you made extra 300000 so the best way to actually do it, remove that three hundred dollars from that wallet, okay. and keep your and keep your capital back. So you are making your profit. So if it's it keeps going up, you are removing your profit. You are removing your profit. You might you never can tell. You might just accumulate enough capital, the same amount capital or close to the capital you invested into the Bitcoin, and then you can remove your entire capital. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't. Did you see? They didn't explain this thing like this now. <laughs> uh-uh, really? 
Yeah. That, so that it's basic like just, trading. Like yes. it's basic trading to be honest. That's it's more dif- it's more easier, but the people who do it perfectly are the ones that are able to analyze when the thing goes up. So you need to know when it goes up and when it comes. So you need to know when it goes up. So you need to be watching the app. Yes, you have to be watching it. So how do you know when it goes up and comes? Well, that is left for people who trade in who trade currencies. Okay, you don't trade. We don't trade currencies. But you understand the trade. Yeah, but we understand. Yes. You see why? You see, education is power. <laughs> you see how you broke it down now? I mean, it makes... Because honestly, I have never... like nobody, And I always ask these so-called people. And they are just spitting jargons. I'm like, I don't understand what you're saying. Like, break it down. Let me understand, basically. Well, but you broke the it problem down. was... The problem has always been... We have many vendors, Bitcoin vendors, crypto vendors, and gift card vendors that are not really into their business. Yeah. You have to understand your business. I'm not an island of knowledge as as well. Yeah. So there are some things that I don't know. And I will tell you after I don't know these things. And I would love to learn them. There are persons in this country that they understand how this Bitcoin thing works completely. Mm-hmm. So they know when they're going to make enough profit. The thing I benefited from it like, let me say, two months ago. Two months ago, that was December. So I knew that ah, by December ending, this coin is going to drop. Oh, so the best thing is to the best thing to do is to switch your coin from either Bitcoin to a stable coin. USDT is the next stable coin. You also have other stable coins, but USDT is the most stable coin because it's like your normal, your regular dollar. Mm. So if you are going to make losses, let's say one dollar from your millions, maybe one dollar is leaving, and if you are making profits, that's in one dollar. So it's just there. You're not making profits. You're not making loss. It's just there. But if you are switching to Bitcoin, Ethereum, you're making losses. You're making losses and you're making profit. But most times, whenever I make the profit, we're happy. Whenever I make the loss, we're also sad. But at the same time, too, there are also times where you made enough profit. Mm. So the best thing you do is to swap your coins back to the USDT. Okay, That's to the very stable, stable coin. coin. Yes. Right. So you do it. So most vendors or most traders, what they do is, if they made enough profit and they don't want to draw these currencies mm-hmm. because of maybe the money is too much for bank and all that, they switch these coins from Bitcoin to USDT. Okay. So you are able to assess your coin. Okay. So okay. it's just, just like you having a dollar account, but mm-hmm. it's a cryptocurrency account. Got you. Okay. Good. Um, I, I I'm I'm learning, and now I'm I'm getting interested in you know just doing it because I mean I never understood it you know this way. So what is that one thing? Because when people talk about general, and I think it's just a mind thing, right? When people talk about the businesses on the internet, and by internet I mean like you know crypto businesses yeah. or um, what's that one that that that's closed up mm whatever uh, money doubling yeah, things mmm and all that all that funny Ponzi scheme Ponzi schemes that. that's the word Ponzi schemes. It looks like, oh, this is a get rich quick avenue. It's a get rich quick mechanism or get rich quick, quick way of just making money, right? A quick way of making money, basically. What is the funniest thing or the craziest thing or the most untrue thing that you've heard about because this is your business? Yeah. That you've heard about your business and you're like, ah, really? This is the same business that you do. <laughs> this, <laughs> this happens. I didn't know that. But. Well, we have a lot, but the most craziest thing that's I normally get from most times my customers is that let me say you make too much profit from this business. I've heard that too. And I'm like, ah, too much profit from this business. The same business. I've heard that it's blood money. Is it that? Yeah. Sometimes I get, ah, ritualists. Yeah. You guys are the ones eating crypto money. And I'm like, "Ah, I don't know. Because me, sometimes when we vendors, we sit down and calculate our profit in a day. When I was coming here, I was actually calculating my profit. And my guy was like, ah, are you sleeping? No, I was not sleeping. I was calculating my profit. And I'm like, ah, from 8 a.m. or 7 30 that I woke up and resumed office till now. This is how much I've been able to make. It's poor. And if I'm able to voice the money, ah, you'll be like, ah, sorry, yo. This is your business. You should say, you know, collect another money, maybe you take go buy something shop. Because people feel like we are making millions every day yeah most times we don't even make this money from the regular trade we make it from accumulating these coins and having to sell later right. that's just it because from that your normal coins that you're selling to us ah the profits you have like let me see i bought a shoe 
7,000. Yeah. And I'm selling it eh, to another person, 7,500. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'm selling it in bulk. How much is my profit? 500. Mm-hmm. So in Bitcoin business and vendor work, it's, it's worse. Some days, you might not be making more than 50K, 30K for a big vendor. Wow. And you're like, ah, more. Today, today business was terrible. But some days too, you're also making more. But the most thing is that as long as we're able to satisfy you guys, mm. okay, yes, um, I'm, I'm able to satisfy my, my customers with the best rates in the market. Somebody will, uh, sorry, somebody will be watching this video now and say, <laughs> this man just said you're making 50K. That's above minimum wage. That's plenty of money. It's lots of money for some people. I'm just saying. With the current, with the every current. day is not per month. That's somebody's uh, full net worth. Fifty thousand. <laughs> that's the person's full net worth. Or more. In a year, or somebody's salary in a month is fifty thousand. Oh, but you're true. making it every day. Oh, true. Yeah. So I mean, in a month. <laughs> Please do the math. Fifty times. <laughs> fifty times. Don't also forget that in some days you don't uh-huh. make anything. Uh, some days, uh, some now. days don't make. And but you have hope that tomorrow you will make. Uh, you wake up in the morning. I'm like, God, thank you. So yeah. that means your annual. That means okay. So let me ask now. So <laughs> that means your. I was your average, and by average I mean average. Oh, your average salary per month. Per month. When you do the math, like, what do you think is your average salary? Uh, I know it's in six figures, but like, yeah. Um, per month. Average. Average. If I do the math correctly, it shouldn't be more than. Two points there about as after the from mm. the first mo- um, first day of the month to the end of the month. AR Brill, please. I'm not interested in this to work again. <laughs> <laughs> I want to start doing <laughs> 2.5 million is your average salary per well, month. We pay workers, we pay because how many workers do you have? What's your staff strength? strength? Uh, I have up to eight. Okay, yeah, I have up to eight, and these workers most of them are here in Lagos. They're what? They're here in Lagos. Okay. And I don't base here. So I base in Delta. So I have. Oh, okay. And the cost of living here is. I don't know how you guys do it, but you guys are wonderful. With oh. 2.5 million every month, you can. Uh, what's that? So my that workers, is... yeah, in Lagos, uh, their charges. It's not actually. I won't say they're my workers actually, but they're mostly my contract I staff. Hope, yeah. So I pay them monthly based on what they do for me. Gotcha. So the money they charge. So the, ah, the salary ch- yeah. uh, changes per month. I'm like, ah, Omo, you guys, well, do your thing. So after the many, many profits and all that, start distributing the money, I'm left to like, let me say, maybe one million or five hundred thousand to also do savings. But those that that that's just the average actually or minimum. Some days we we'll, we we'll do better than that. Mm-hmm. Some days that's why I said average so. because if you're averaging two point five, you can imagine what's the main. I, had, I said average on purpose. <laughs> That's good. I'm, now I'm thinking the, the math is math in my head. It's a good business. Do you do trainings? No, we don't. You don't do trainings. Don't but are you train. open to say if someone says train me on this thing? I want to know yeah, about it. Open. it? We have we have up to three to four vendors on the house that okay. they do their vendor work. They have their own customers, but we are their main vendors. Gotcha. So we 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 buy the coins. We buy the coins from them mm-hmm. after they've successfully gotten the coins from their various customers. And at the end of the day, we buy these coins at good rates so that they can make their own profit. Mm-hmm. And we also have people that also put through. The business is actually easy. Just the the fact that you have to deal with the stress. You have to deal with customers every day. There are some customers that are... Listen, I don't like people, so that's, that's <laughs> going to be hard. It's so, really hard. So we have to deal with it. So the first thing I tell anybody coming to learn the business under me, I probably want to be using my rates to trade is first things first you will jam crazy people you will encounter people that and funny enough the people that always give the problem the most the most problem actually are those ones that trade <laughs> amazing amount of coins say it the, say the <laughs> The people that are broke are the ones that get no, the most stress. Yeah, it's not rich people don't stress. I don't have broke customers actually. Sorry, uh-huh. people that don't trade as much as the rich uh-huh. people will trade. But those who have traded with us over time, they say, I have customers that have traded millions in a day mm-hmm. for the first time, and they are not giving you stress. Yes. 
And we have those that are trading, let me say, fifty dollars, hundred dollars, twenty. No, we don't buy. We don't buy below fifty actually. So let me say, fifty dollars, hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, just to exchange it. That we are not even making enough profit from, and we are doing it just to help you guys. And we get the craziest response whenever maybe the bank issue. We are not the problem with. We are not the faults. We are. We we'll always try to make sure that okay, our services. We are increasing the, um, the the sources in the services, and that's why we even came up with our own app and all that. So, oh, you have an app? Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. You have, <laughs> you have app in two years. No, we have an app, My brother. You we are doing well, that's good. So, we've not okay. You haven't launched it. Launched, but okay. it's ready. Okay. I think we started it since last year September, but it's ready. We're currently on two tests Testing. and all that. Okay. So this app would, would make it easier for like payments. Very easy. They, have, they just have to swap and do their thing. Why now I have to rest, and my workers will the work will, the workload will have to reduce for the workers and those attending to our customers from the IG and those in the WhatsApp. So it will make it very very easy. It's just like you trading with the normal big platforms where you just have to swap your coins and mm-hmm. but it's easier. Mm-hmm. So okay, I, I like that. And my apologies for those people that trade fifty dollars, hundred dollars, and are stressing. Those those are your hustlers now. You don't blame them. Ah, we don't. Uh, the people we, that we, trade we love them the most, actually, because they are the ones that will yeah. help us stay on market. The, those big men most. that are trading, they will not. It's just mm. the, they are the ones them that dash the them money. Maybe they went to party, they spray money. <laughs> you now go and pick it. <laughs> so let me now blow. Let me no, trade. No, no. We love them that. the most. We love them the most. And what we do in our platform is we don't actually discriminate. We don't give. Let's say the same rate I would use to give to trade with somebody that's trading millions. I'll use that same rate to trade with somebody that's also trading unit coins. That way the person has this sense of belonging and um is making enough profit as well from his trade. Mm-hmm. So I will not tell you that, okay, because you are trading fifty dollar, hundred dollar, two hundred dollar, okay, I will not give you the same rate with somebody that's trading about six million, ten million, fifteen million. Mm-hmm. You understand? So I'll give you the same rate so that you will feel like ah, okay. At least this vendor traded with the same rate for me and so on. Okay, so let's let's go a bit personal, right? I know that your you know, your business is who you are, you're your business. But like, what is the what is the big picture like for you? And I, by you, I mean like you personally, even your business, whatever. But like, I'm more interested in you. Is this because you rightly said here that this is what you studied and this happened by mistake, but it's doing well? So in the next, I hate to ask this in the next 10, 20 years question, but okay. In the nearest future, like, do you want to still do this? Make, maybe make it bigger? Or do you want to own like your own TV station since that's what you really wanted to do? Like, what, what is the dream? Um, the last one, actually. Okay. To own my own, but not, okay. A few years from now, actually. Mm-hmm. I don't have one business. I have multiple businesses. I need woman will always be an evil man, all right. But other businesses are also doing well, especially in their own field. Which other businesses are you doing? Funny enough, I'm a farmer. Okay. And I I produce oil. Which uh, palm oil? Palm oil, yeah. That's so a lot have, of money. What to do? You have money, you. <laughs> hey, voila. <laughs> I'm sitting beside the billionaire. You have money. You're producing palm oil. No, in we'll this never economy, we never are yet, but we're yeah, getting there. We're yeah, getting slowly there. getting, and yeah, it's always there. Very honest, yeah, I mean, white t-shirt yeah. and black trousers. <laughs> All those, uh, um, do go, let me not say something. But we have um, division is actually to sponsor. I really don't have that luxury of time. I feel like I don't have that time to actually do some things that I would love to do. But I would love to see people around me do it. Mm. So, I went to school to study mass comm does not mean that uh, if I have the opportunity to actually present or go further in the business or in the field, I won't go. But I see myself actually owning a station, actually. My business, ah, this, especially this one, this crypto business, it will go far with time. Other businesses will also go far. But mostly, I feel... I would love to sponsor people at some point. Like, like when you are there and I'm like, ah, Nami help you, Nami Duam. I I'd have to I would love to have that feeling. Like I was able to create a platform for people to do it. Because 
I loved mass com, not because I wanted to present or do anything, but I just wanted to see how it is. Right. So I enjoyed every bit of it. So when they when we even went for IT and all that, I said like, hey, Buka, you don't be past to go do IT. And I'm like, no, let me experience it. I want to experience every single bit of it. I don't need to come out as first class. Uh-huh. But I just want to have the experience. Yeah, have the experience and pass with flying colors as well. Mm-hmm. But everything is okay while I'm doing my business. Yeah. So in the next future, I would love to own my own TV station. That's amazing. Probably own my own radio station as well. So call over it East, time. East X TV. No, definitely. It won't be East X okay, TV. Okay, it's be to be something else. You have you've not thought about it yet. Everything will not be a stacks and a stacks. So they will not know like, you see boom, so they, don't know, they will know it's one person that was everything. So I would think I like that. I like that. That's re- that's really nice. Are you forgive that I'm asking this question or not? But are you like married in a relationship? I'm not married. In a relationship. In a relationship yeah. okay. The serious relationship. <sighs> very serious. <Okay. laughs> wait, hmm, very, because these days people are dating people, but they don't dating them. So we have to be sure that. Yeah, uh, I mean, in a relationship by God's grace, yes. Okay, cool. I I believe by God's grace, at I'm brute. <laughs> because with all these figures that you have mentioned, a lot of people will be in the comment section saying, "Is he single? Is he single?" Hello, he have love of his life. Thank you very much. But this was, this was a great conversation. Yeah, thank, thank you, you for coming. Much. I learned a lot. At least if I don't know anything, I know that um, I understand the the basics of the trading. So yeah. you know you can remove your profits and leave your capital, and you can also swap your coin to USDT from Bitcoin, you know, and there are other coins. I mean, now I can I can see some things when those people are... Which one is that graph one? That's Forex, I mean. That's Forex. That's Forex. They also have... Um, they have crypto traders that deal with just the entire crypto framework and everything. Okay. So, they have Forex traders as well. I do a little bit of Forex, actually. But Forex... Forex is is nice, yeah. Mm-hmm. But what I always tell people is, like you said, it's not a get rich quick scheme. Mm-hmm. You don't go into this business because you want to make profits all at once. Mm-hmm. So you understand? It's just like the regular real estate business. You don't go into all this business. In fact, I believe that every business you go into, you don't you don't go into it because you want to make profit. Exactly. Just as in the first year of doing it, my, my first year of doing this business, I spent most of it learning getting contacts, meeting people, having connections with people, dealers and all that. Mm. And I also spent it losing money, but it was worth it actually. And last year as well, we spent, we spent last year, almost the whole, okay, half of last year, doing more of publicity and all that and be spending money on producing influencers and all that, but all the same right here. Yeah, that's what's important. So, all right, thank you for coming. It thank was you. A great conversation. Much. Um, I hope that um, in the nearest future, I will. Not in the nearest future. I, th- I think with this with this information, how you've broken it down, I probably would, you know, figure it. Try to, you know, get involved in this whole online coin situation. Thank you. What's the handle? Uh, your Instagram handle. It's text trades. Okay. What's your own personal? Ibuka Nuba Godwin. That's Ibuka Nuba Godwin. That's my full name. Is there? That's his full government's name. That's his handle. You're welcome. Stamped. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> I know I'm saying you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you for coming. Uh, that's the that's pretty much uh, the end of this episode. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Out.